Welcome to another episode of Conversations with 2025 graduates. I am Goda from BTEC first year and part of branding committee. And today we have with us Monjoy from final year I am Tech student. Thank you for having your time with us. We would like to know more about your journey at Triplity Bangalore. From a curious first year student to a mentor in your fifth year, how was this transition like and how did you feel? Yeah, so thank you for inviting me here today and. I think I would like to give all of the credits to my seniors who are present here, and I feel Triple IT Bangalore has a very student-first uh, culture here, and all the students like they help you a lot. And as soon as we came in, like we were uh, thrown at multiple things, curriculum, buzzwords like competitive programming, everything, and we were confused a lot. And obviously, the homesickness also kicks in. So these seniors always used to turn up for us, give us the advice which they knew at that moment, and obviously they also say that uh, now I can give you a better advice and. That helped us a lot. Other than that, I have been a part of a lot of clubs and committees here at Triple IT Bangalore because of which I had seen a lot of different batches coming in. So I would also like to credit my juniors who have been here, who have given me different learning experiences. But uh, when I uh, transition, how my transition occurred is that when you grow as an individual here from the first year to the very final year, you end up getting a sense of feeling just because all those seniors are supportive to us. I had a feeling that I need to give something back to the community here at Triple IIT Bangalore just before I graduate. So I would say in that way I transitioned from being a just a student to a mentor, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You are a mentor here at Triple IIT Bangalore, but you are a beginner for the professional career and a new graduate. How do you feel? I think Triple IIT B has helped me a lot in becoming an industry ready professional. Like the curriculum here present, right, and especially in the DSA, either data science and AI. spectrum uh, we are learning things which have come literally like in the last month and that's because uh, our professors always try to sp- uh, stay up to date in their courses and there are courses like visual recognition advanced visual recognition in the iml domain which i have taken where we actually had to give presentations and examinations where the course the course curriculum the paper itself had come out m- a month before the course started and i think this extends to all the other domains also and these are the other dom- uh, the iml in the domain the vlsi domain and all the other domains are very hot uh, topics in the industry right now so when i joined in both of my professional internships like the i've done two, two of them uh, they were actually surprised that even for a new grad i knew a lot of other advanced topics which the very senior professionals knew there so i feel triple it be in that way having a very hands on approach along with the theoretical understanding of these subjects makes you a very good industry ready professional you are interested in ai and ml how is triple it be oriented towards research and uh, how did it help you yeah so triple it be has a very strong research culture and i would proudly say that uh, so we do have like the im techs and uh, since you're joining a B, as a b tech now so very strong culture where our seniors at the very end of their fourth sem stra- starts looking for research internships here with professors at triple it bangalore and other colleges in india as well as abroad so i also took on that tradition and this simple uh, hands on research with one of the professors here and then uh, in there i got my first experience of failure where we didn't get a lot of idea about what to do next but then that uh, prepared me more for the other uh, adventures which i had and due to the course and curriculum which i got in fifth semester where our electives actually start and we have a lot of freedom in selecting what subjects we want so i i was gravitated towards machine learning a lot so soon after that like even the seniors are working in the labs right so again the whole senior junior culture here comes in where the senior actually recommends you to a professor just because you performed great in the course you showed a good, good amount of interest i got good projects in that way and then the professors and uh, the students and we are already close but we grew closer as our research came to a fruit fruition when we actually like ended up publishing in great venues and i feel this is supported a lot by all the faculties here at triple it bangalore it's just about your attitude whether you go walk in and ask for a problem to solve you are not uh, like no one will give you a problem but if you go and ask definitely you you are in for a great ride till the time you reach your final year so yeah five years is a great time what opportunities did you get in this yeah so i did a I did some things, so I first go on the technical side of things. So initially, when you come into college, everyone is talking about competitive programming, DSA, mm-hmm. development, and there's a whole chaos around it. And then there is the other bunch of people who are aggressively contributing to open source and doing freelancing. So it was a lot 
of chaos i would say in my first year and uh, since we were in the covid batch so we did uh, find some difficulty but as soon as i came on campus the first thing i was gravitated was mobile development where we actually won the track prize we, we learned literally learned the tech stack few days back and then we won a prize there and <laughs> that's how like i got into a bit of development after that i found my true calling when the electives happen so see how curriculum is actually affecting my technical interest here at applied bangalore that i was interested after the machine learning course where we had to do a simple harsh common classifier right in social media which you see and based on i grew an interest towards natural language processing and automatically when i took visual recognition i was gravitated towards computer vision also and that's where my research is currently leading me now and now too much of the technical things coming on to the non technical side i have been had the privilege of being part of a lot of clubs i was part of uh, square one which is the induction committee and after that like that gave me a very maturing experience because most of the time you are very reckless but when you are looking towards your juniors or looking out for someone then you have an automatically a guardian personality i think that's where i developed that personality that you have to be careful about what you say where you say in front of anyone and those kind of things are learning then afterwards i joined Direct Shot Triple D Bangalore, one of the most <laughs> big club at that time, and there I got first chance to meet different people on multidisciplinary areas. That's a very enriching experience because when you're talking about engineering, all initially when you're coming just to college, you're just thinking about PCM, and then you'll be just thinking about data structures, algorithms, web development. So I think that was a very enriching experience, and luckily I was one of the organizers for the very next iteration, and that gave me a very big leadership role as well as the experience of how to handle people. like identifying who are good at what and then using them efficiently to get a good outcome post that i joined the alumni committee because i felt that these two experiences compound good to support the alumni relations there so i tried to do some small mentorship talks and sessions lastly just to wrap it up i was i am also part of the placement committee which is i think like where my all these skills which i learned were actually put into test in the industry level where we have to interact with the industry professionals and the members there just to have hiring and i think i uh, sometimes it's a very it might be a bit of a thankless job but then when you look at the smiles of your batchmates your juniors when they get the offer i think that compensates for everything you had to go through in the entire cycle and it's a very interesting experience uh, and that's it like and it's a long list but yeah i done small small things here and there yeah it's a great journey like in your a and ml course and even participating in clubs and committees various clubs and committees like square one and many other thank you for sharing your insights any suggestions for the future btech and im tech batch i feel uh, two things i would like to say one thing is try things before you just do get on a rejection mode just because someone is doing a thing x that doesn't mean the y is a bad thing for example there's a lot of debate about cp and dev uh, computer programming and web development so don't be narrow on to like only one of them try to do both of them second of all is you're just coming as a fresh grad and like even in the <laughs> college so uh, like i would say it's a very clean slate and a new beginning for you it's not about what je rank you came in because i can clearly say i was one of the father like the last students to enter reply to bangalore at my cut off and i was able to do a lot of things during that time so it's about leveraging the opportunity which you get here at reply to bangalore to the fullest and like give up give up give up on your past try to create a good present here and obviously in the future uh, you will be a great individual here yeah Thank you for sharing your insights. I hope this conversation helped you know more about Triple IT Bangalore. See you in the other conversation with 2025 graduates. Thank you.